I'm joined today by the lovely Julia in my bathroom. Hello, lovely Julia. Hello, lovely Richard. The minute I just said to her, I can't come out to play today because I want to do some stuff in the bathroom, she said, what do you mean? And I said, not that kind of stuff. I want to do some painting and try and sort it out a bit because my bathroom is probably the ugliest room in the house, apart from my back room, which is the storeroom. No comment. Okay. And um, so I thought, well, it's about time I did something, and everybody says, oh, we love the domestic videos. So I thought, right, okay, you're going to get to see the nasty inside cracks and crevices of my well, you life. mean the warts and all? Yeah, the warts and all business. So I brought the lovely Julia into the bathroom because I need that feminine touch, because I think a bathroom is where... There yeah. it is. <laughs> a bathroom is where... Um, Blokes, most blokes, can put up with a hell of a lot, but women, a bit more finickety. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, um, behind me is the bath, which I, I sorted this out many, many years ago, this sort of weird thing. And I want to get, I want, I want to revamp the whole bathroom, but not in immediate future. Right. So I just want to tidy up this place just a little bit. And um, I'm going to just repaint this yellow. Uh, but not yellow um, and I want to put some of the um, you know the stuff that goes around that white oh the sealant sealant I want to put some of that in I want to get rid of the clutter that's in here and all of that all of that so that's a plan yeah on the ground there'd be some runners and then all of this look, that's got to shunt out well, we have been down to the town and we've looked around in the charity shops, um, but we've come back empty handed. Yep. The reason we went down to look in the charity shops is I was thinking about under the window, I'm going to get rid of the, the washer dryer or the dryer, the tumble, oh, tumble dryer. dryer. Yeah, yeah, that's the word. Um, I wanted to get rid of that because it's just, a, I don't use it and it's in the way. So I may give it away if anyone wants a tumble dryer. I don't need it because the Essie does my clothes. But I wanted something nice. Um, if I'm going to do it at the bathroom, I want something nice like a vanity unit. Mm. And I can put my toothbrushes and flannels and, you know. A jug and a bowl. A jug and <laughs> a bowl. That would be great, like in the old fashioned days. And then underneath, towels. Yes. And things like that make Storage. it look really nice. Because um, I do want to keep the house having some sort of Victorian ish feel to it. Yeah. So. I'm looking, but I don't want to buy anything new. Plus, the fact anything new doesn't necessarily look right. But we did see something in the charity shop. We did. It was a bit long, um, and I'd have to take the fire unit out to get it in. now bought a little unit uh, to go under the window or by the, in front of the window which is where the washer dryer is at the moment I want to get that out down the stairs and in the back room and then eventually as I said given away um, and but in order to fit this in because it won't fit in properly at the moment I need to move this old fire it's not connected it's a gas fire some sort of convector fire thing and I've got to move that out so I've got to un do it and make it safe 
as safe as I can turning it off. I mean, the gas is off, so as long as the gas doesn't go on any time, it's safe. But I would like to make sure that the valve at this end is switched off as well. Um, and then, now whether I do this today or whether I do it tomorrow, I'm not yet sure. I've obviously got to change into some appropriate clothes. But I've been out and I bought some sandpaper, <laughs> a brush, but more importantly, some paint. And the colour of the paint is a sort of a bluey colour because I wanted some bathroom paint. And it didn't have very many colours for that, but it's got to be fairly splashable. And it's going on this surface and the other um yellow that is there which at the moment is a well i think it's um it's painted on a very shiny stuff so i've got to sand it all down to give it a key so that'll be the first task and then once it's all sanded down i can paint it so that's going to be my task <laughs> Well, there it is. It's in, um, but it won't go flush against the wall yet because of the fire, which um, is going to have to be moved. But that's the un new unit, and I think it'll look nice when there's towels in it and all of that, and uh, toothbrushes and all of that sort of stuff laid out on it. Right, okay, I'm not going to move the fire today. I don't think, I think that's just going to have to sort of sit in its position, but um, yeah, it looks good. I'm happy, I'm happy with that so far. Oh, right, well that's in, and that doesn't look too bad, does it? So that's, that's one great improvement. Instead of coming in and seeing a wash and a dryer, it's not a wash, it's just a dryer, whatever. Instead of seeing that, you'll see some nice towels and, and all of that. So that's good. Um, the next thing I need to do then is sandpaper all this yellow stuff and paint that in this sort of tealy colour, which hopefully will look nice. It will be a bit darker, but uh, we've got white walls in here now, so that's the next bit. So I better go and change into something uh, a little best a little um, worse for a little yeah painting clothes and then crack on with that <laughs> the next day it's actually as I record this it's Saturday morning so I was working on this Friday I'm just putting on the second coat now of this uh, interesting blue it seems to be um, as you can see behind me it's a bit patchy in places but the second coat is going down quite uniformly so I'm pleased about that um, it's looking it's looking really good in here and I'm <laughs> I'm really thrilled and actually every time I do a job in the bathroom or not in the bathroom but anytime I do a job in the house I mean I'm always surprised by actually the difference it makes you, you know it, it hasn't taken that long and just a lick of paint moving some stuff a simple piece of furniture it just made a huge difference and that's 
I must remember this. I must remember this. It's a lesson to um, remind myself. So there's lots I can do in the house. I've just got to remember it doesn't take that much effort. Just set aside some time. So I was quite despondent at the beginning when things weren't going right. But things seem to be going right at the moment. So that's all good. I have acquired an old mirror here, uh, but it's falling to bits. It's very dusty, look at that. But the mirror itself is intact and I'm sure with a bit of spit and polish, it would be all right, cleaned up. I, I'm not so keen on this uh, fake leather surround. And I thought if I was to either put some driftwood, if I could find some driftwood, um, or some um, little bits of very thin, um, wood on here on on the surround and maybe paint it the same color as I've painted around the bath that blue it could go in the bathroom on the chimney side so that you can well obviously look at yourself <laughs> when you've got a towel around you and uh, you know uh, smarten yourself up in the bathroom it might make the bathroom look a bit bigger so I thought I'd give that a try Oh, well, we're nearly there. <laughs> it's been quite exhausting sorting this out, but actually it's gone reasonably well. Apart from that, don't look at that, it's where my old costumes are. I'm going to go through my costumes in another video, I think, and show you some of them. That all needs to be made neat and perhaps hidden behind a, a cupboard or something so that they're not on display. That all looks really nice now. And that's done and I'm pretty much uh, pleased with that side of the bathroom. This side looks pretty okay. Um, I need to sort out my other mirror, uh, which is a bit of a mess, but I can sort that out in time. But the main thing is, it actually looks like a reasonable bathroom and not just a utility room that just happens to have a bath and a toilet in it. So I'm very pleased about that. It's time for me to have a cup of coffee flake out and take the rest of the day. I've already washed the van this morning. I've stacked some logs. Um, I've done some washing up. I've washed some clothes. I've folded some clothes. Yeah, so in between filming and everything else, I'm going to take the rest of the day off, I think. Although I may end up editing this later. But thank you for watching and seeing what I've been getting up to at home. I will see you hopefully out and about if we get some nice weather in this wonderful land in England. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.